Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to draw this realistic bell pepper with color pencils. So let's get started. First of all, let me show you the materials which you need to draw this drawing. A red color pencil and an orange color pencil and a light green and a dark green with a black for the shadows. That's pretty much it and I also used a mechanical pencil for drawing the outlines. You can use any brand that doesn't matter, just use these color pencils. And then draw a rectangle and mark 1 by 4th of the distance in, in right here and then divide the whole thing in half. Then form an approximate a oval like thing to figure out the whole bell paper sort of things. And as a disclaimer, the image which I'm using right now is not mine. You can download the same image by using the link in the description box and follow it. So friends, now in this point we have a overall outline sort of thing. So we can just develop rest of the outlines from that. See the reference and draw it carefully because outline is the most important thing when it comes to realism. Because if not, even though you could be a master in shading, but if your outline isn't good, it's just going to look a bit crappy so yeah focus much on outlines friends at this point i almost completed drawing the outlines but i always like to erase the reference lines which i have drawn first and then erase the whole outlines itself a bit so that i can work more accurately on the outlines itself because as i said outlines is a very important thing in realism you always wanted to give much and much more importance to it and then friends here we go we have it friends here you can see me using a kneaded eraser to lighten it up so we can work on colors first of all pick your light green pencil and fill the whole space let's start with the stem so other than the highlighted areas just fill it up and then pick your darker green and just add your details later we can add the shadows by using the black pencil which we just took off do the same to the other areas always work on layers layers will be the most flexible way you can do a art most of the artists will suggest the same thing so you can do it that's the method which i'm using for a long time because unlike other methods layering method will never let you down it will always help you at certain points when you do a little bit of mystic then friends here you can see me layering a lighter grade at bottom as i said and friends here in this method I just left the white spaces because I wanted it to be highlighted as in the reference picture and I don't want to erase it later so it's always better to leave the space at first itself and then I'm going with the next darker grid pencil which is the darker green and then with the black color pencils. I'm using the lighter green pencil to blend it up because I have seen some people use a blender pencil and sort of things but I don't have any of those. So friends, here you can see me using the lighter grade pencil, of course, in this thing. It is orange. I'm layering the whole thing on that exact spot. So friends, unlike phases, I always go by section by section in fruits, vegetables, things, because each and every section of these type of things will have its own shadow, mid-tone and highlighted areas. We should take care of each and everything separately. So friends, here you can see me I have already layered the orange color. In the whole part and then i just left the center part for the highlight and then i have started shading from the outside to the inside so that i can work like dark to light this is how it works this is the exact thing which you want to do for each and every sections in this so here i have shown you a bit slowly so that you can follow it and then you can repeat the same process in each and every sections because i'm going to just fasten it up in the video because it could not be that much longer so i hope you understand friends if you can't understand any of these things just ping me down below in comments itself or instagram or via twitter i'll get back you for sure and then friends here you can see me repeating the same process again laying down the lighter grade pencil first and then adding the mid-tones and the shadows with a darker grade pencil if i want even more depth than just a red color i'll be using a black color on that place because i don't have any other darker reds in my case if you have just use it it'll be working even more finer 
friends this is the exact same process you should follow to each and every other section so that you can get it easily this is a easy drawing you can do it just think this in mind and draw it you will do it and friends if you are doing this drawing i'm love to see it so tag me on instagram or twitter or send me a dm on instagram i'll get back to you soon and friends in this case i have also shared my second most favorite shading technique with color pencils but it is a bit advanced so first learn the tonal values and the layering technique and in my future videos i'll cover this also and friends if you want to see any other tutorial just drop those in comment section i'll sure see it and make it as soon as possible so friends i don't want to make you bored anyway so enjoy the video and after watching this video you know what to do please give it a thumbs up if it deserves and share with your friends and family yeah don't forget to hit the thumbs up button because it helps me to make more videos and also that was the youtube algorithm wants and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can get a notification for my every tutorials and other speed drawing videos Here's the drawing. I hope you like it. And friends, I hope the tutorial was useful. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and relatives and family so that this video will be useful for more people. And friends, if you want to see any other tutorials from me, just drop them down below in comments. I'll sure I'll make a tutorial on that. And friends, if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll get a notification for my every future uploads. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Until then, this is Vishwa.